G'day everyone, B Asian Dad here. In a previous video, I compared the MacBook Pro with the Lenovo X1 Carbon, and I mentioned that the MacBook Pro had a much superior trackpad, and I thought I might actually expand on that. So, if you haven't checked that video out, I'll put the link in the up there and also in the description below. So, be sure to check that one out if you haven't done already. Besides having amazing hardware for the trackpad, software-wise, this thing's done. Boom! Anyway, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on Mac or Windows-based trackpads, which you prefer. Comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. The trackpad has a lot of gestures, and unfortunately, a lot of Mac users have barely touched the power of this trackpad, especially the people who have moved from Windows to Mac OS. Uh, I've got a lot of clients who've done that, so I thought I might make a guide of just the gestures on this trackpad, it may actually help you out. So let's begin. Let's start off with our basics. First is the left click is the single tap or single click. Now to get the tap, you need to enable it in the system preferences in the trackpad. And I'll show you that a little bit later. Now to right click, you use two fingers and you tap the trackpad and it will bring you the contextual menu, of course. Now they've had the two fingers tap for very long time on the trackpad. They've had it probably more than two decades, so they're the first ones to start using it. To do smart zoom, which is basically where the cursor is, you use two fingers, double tap. So double tap on the website or a PDF will get you a smart zoom itself. So double tap again will zoom you back out. Now, of course, two fingers up and down will scroll. Now, Mac have had this for a very long time, and I think they were the first to do that. The next one is to zoom and use two fingers. To zoom in, you spread them apart. To zoom out, you spread them together. And I'll just demonstrate that. And again, it's where the cursor is. So zoom in and zoom out. The next one is to rotate. Now this is better performed on picture sort of application. So I've just opened up a picture here in the preview and you use two fingers and you literally just rotate whichever side you want to do. So put on the cursor on the picture and you can just rotate. It's pretty easy. Uh, you can rotate the other way as well too, so pretty easy. Go back and forth on an application that supports it, like Safari, two fingers left for back, two fingers right for forward. Now to actually get the notification bar up, it's again two fingers on the very top right hand corner. You start from the top right hand corner and swipe to the left. So swipe left will get your notification center, swipe right on the top right again, and it will disappear, the notification center. To show the desktop, you use three fingers and a thumb, and you pretty much spread your thumb away from your fingers like this. Doing the opposite with three fingers and a thumb, by putting them together will get your launch pad, where you can actually open applications. Now using four fingers swipe up will get you to Mission Control. Now Mission Control, you can see all your different windows you have open from different applications in that virtual desktop. On the very top, you can find all the different virtual desktops that you have open or spaces, spaces as they used to be called. You can also move different windows into the different virtual desktop. It's great for managing your work and organizing different applications or windows. It's and that brings us to the next one, which is four finger swipe left and right will help you navigate between the different desktops. So swipe left will get you to the next one, swipe right will get you backwards. That also brings us to the very last one. So four finger swipe down will get you to expose. Now what expose does is it shows you all the windows you have open in this active application that you are currently using. So at the moment I'm using Safari. It will only show Safari windows. Hope this guide has unlocked some of the power of this trackpad for your daily use. And if you enjoy the video or find it informative, give it a like. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button to keep yourself up to date with my videos. I do upload every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you in the next video.